Back on game time, the NBA trade deadline is now less than three weeks away, but teams looking to fortify their rosters can also turn to the D League. And so that's exactly where veteran guard Nate Robinson is turning. Robinson signed a deal with the D League and awaits his team assignment. And Nate is with us here on game time from Seattle. Uh, Nate, good to have you with us. I know you're going to wait a few days to find out where you're headed when you reach your destination. What do you hope to show NBA teams when you get there? Well, thanks for having me, first and foremost. Uh, appreciate you guys, you know, wanting to talk to me. But, I mean, I just bring a lot of energy, scoring, uh, playing hard, passion, hard work, you know, to any team. So you got to start from kind of from ground zero and build your way back up to the top. So that's where I'm at right now. Well, obviously, to NBA teams, you're a known quantity. So what do you think they'll be watching for when they see you on tape or in person? Uh, well, whatever it is, I just hope they're impressed and, you know, they figure that I can help a team, whatever team that is. Uh, I'm just looking for another opportunity just to, you know, to rewrite my legacy to help another team, you know, get to the playoffs, win a championship because, you know, it's all it's about winning. It's about playing the right way. And I think I do that and I think I can help with any team in the NBA right now. Nate, it's Mike Fratello. Uh, you and your agent, I'm sure, have sat down and looked at the rosters. Are there any particular teams that jump out at you where you say they – really need help and I could provide them with what they need? Uh, I mean, there's a number of teams. I mean, it goes to Portland, it goes to uh, the Cavs, uh, Clippers. I mean, I just say any team. Uh, Philly, I mean, there's a lot of teams that can that can use my talent, use my energy and, and what I bring to the game, what I, you know, what I bring to the table. But, uh, uh, you know, hopefully I get the opportunity. You know, God, he's blessed me so much. You know, I can't ask for any more, but uh, to get another run at it and show them that I can be the player that they know I can, similar to what my guy Isaiah Thomas is doing, which is bringing that fire every night. You know, that's something that I, I think I did. You know, one, when I was in the league, you know, that, you know, that's a given. So I just want to be be able to come in, be a good veteran, you know, lead by example, help the young guys, and just, you know, play my butt off for whatever organization that wants to have me uh, come aboard. Nate, this is Grant Hill. I I'm curious, as you, and this is a tough question, I must qualify by saying this, but um, as you start playing with the D League, you don't know what team you're going to yet, but what's your mental approach? Like, what do you think you'll be uh, uh, in terms my of how? mental approach yes. would be just to, uh, you know, come in just like a rookie all over again, bro. Just to be honest with you, just come in and, and you know, just be thankful and, and blessed and, you know, thank God for that opportunity just to even be down there playing and to showcase myself and what I can do. Uh, you know, I don't think for me, you know, it was just something that either either I'm going to humble myself or the Lord is going to humble me. And I'd rather pick myself to humble first before before God does. <laughs> so, you know, right now I'm just humbling myself and just, you know, continue to, to wait my turn and have faith that, you know, something good will happen out of it. And, uh, and I believe that. You played in the NBA last season briefly, a couple of games with the Pelicans and spent some time in Israel as well. I believe it was 14 games. What was your experience like over there? Because a lot of players go over and just don't like being away from home. Others really embrace the culture and enjoy it. Uh, I mean, for me, you know, home is where I make it. It's not, you know, I know where I'm born. I know where I'm raised, you know. So uh, as long as I got that in my heart and my mind, it'll, it'll never leave me. I just wanted to go play basketball, man. I love the game. Uh, that's something that I do. I do know about myself is that I just love the game so much that I'll play it wherever. It doesn't matter what level, where, in the, around the world. I just want to play and I want to have fun. And I love to just be myself while I'm out there. And, you know, Israel gave me that chance and it was fun. Uh, the city, the, the whole country, they loved me. The city was fun. The team was fun. The, even the opposing fans to cheer and, you know, taunt and celebrate at the same time. So it was pretty cool, you know, to get opportunity to, you know, to showcase my talents, you know, somewhere other than the United States of America. Well, we can't let the only three-time slam dunk champion in NBA history get away without asking you a couple of dunk contest questions. Uh, <laughs> if you start playing early next week, presumably you'll be available for the D-League dunk contest in New Orleans if you want to participate. Are you interested in that, <laughs> A? And B, do you have any thoughts on this year's NBA dunk contest and who your favorite is? Uh, well, hey, no, I, I, I did all the dunking I needed to do, you know, and uh, I, I've accomplished uh, so much, man. Like I said, man, I can't ask, you know, God for any more, man. I'm blessed with not just one, not two, but three slam dunk titles, man. The first man to ever do it, you know, it's something I wanted to do as a kid, but 
you know, it, it doesn't stop there, man. There's, there's so much I can give, you know, uh, you know, to a team from being an inspiration, a little guy that beat all the odds growing up as a kid. People telling me I couldn't do it, I couldn't make it, I was too small, not strong enough, not smart enough. You know, and I, and I did 11 great years, man. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. But, you know, I don't want to go out like I'm going out right now. I want to be able to, 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 to rewrite, you know, how my story ends, man. And, you know, this is a great opportunity to, to go down to the D-League, humble myself, and start from ground zero and make my way back up to the top and show them that no matter what, you don't got to get – you can't give up. You got to keep fighting for what you believe in and the respect that you want. You got to go out and get it. And that's what I that, – you know, that's my plan. And on this year's dunk contest, DeAndre Jordan, Aaron Gordon, Derek Jones, Glenn Robinson the third. Who you got? Ooh, that's some good that's some, that's some good names, man. I probably would go have to go with Air Gordon for sure. He should him and him and Zach Levine should have shared it last year. Yep. That was fun. I think they would if that would have been a good a, a nice dunk contest. I could have shared the contest, shared the trophy. Because that that was probably one of the best dunk contests I've ever seen in my own two eyes. Well, thanks for stopping by, Nate. Good luck on the comeback oh, man, in the D League. We'll so be uh, we'll be waiting to see where you land and watching your progress. Hey, hey, G Hill, man, tell it to me. I'm still waiting on the album, bro. <laughs> That's right. I'll let I'll let you know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> She's working on something, man. She's working right, on something. I got you. I appreciate that. Tell her hello. I will. All right. Good luck, right. Nate. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, Nate Robinson with us, who, by the way, had a 40. I think it was 46 point game in those 14 games in Israel. Um, what do you think? Could, could he help a team right now at the age of 32, basically two years removed almost from, from the NBA? I don't know if his body ever gets out of shape. <laughs> so I would think that if somebody picks him up and gives him a shot, you know what he is? He's such a competitor, and he loves to play. If you sign him to a 10-day contract, he's going to go out and do enough to impress you and make you sign him to the second 10-day contract. And then after that, you got a big decision to make, keeping him for the rest of the year or not. So who should give him a look when he begins his D-League career next week? It's a good question. Um, you know, we, we, we talked earlier a little bit about Washington as a, as a possible destination. Obviously, John Wall plays heavy minutes. Um, but, I, you know, I, I, Washington could be a good spot for him. Um, you know, look, the bottom line is if you bring Nate Robinson on your team, you, you have to play him. You know, even if it's marginal minutes, you can't have him on the team. Right. You know, sort of in case of an emergency. You know, I think that might be a problem. You know, it could be disruptive. He wants to play. Uh, I know he's talked about being humble and I respect that he's going the D League route to show that he really wants to be out there. But he's a guy that the regular season is one thing, but in the playoffs, he's a guy that can win a game for you in yep. a series. He can get hot, he's an emotional player. Um, and he just, as you said, he's a competitor. He plays, he plays 100 miles an hour in every possession. And so bringing him off the bench on a playoff team, uh, winning a tough game, you need a bench to, to win a, a game for you, as they say, uh, in a, a seven-game series. He, he has that kind of quality, that kind of ability. Yeah. And uh, the right team, knowing the right system, Washington could, could certainly be a destination for him. He could be a wild card for a, for a playoff team. I'll give you one more. Uh, I think Charlotte might be a team hmm. also. Yep, I could see that. Uh, remember yeah. last year when they had Jeremy Lin, they were pretty darn good, uh, yep. Charlotte team. Then they lost Lin. This guy coming off the bench for them, perhaps an ingredient they need. I'm not sure he's what the Cavs need, even though they're looking for a backup point guard behind Kyrie. I'm not sure... He's the right one for them. Well, he makes a good sales pitch, and we'll see what he's got uh, on the floor when he begins his D-League career, we think, sometime next week.